guys, Deadly Black Guy here, chilling with my friend Smelly, and today we're going to farm some neutral orbs. This is a great way for beginners, and this is the best way I found for um, you know low-level people to get neutral orbs to help them get better. So the best person I found, the best behemoth I found, was Nasher. Not Lesser Nasher because Lesser Nasher. He doesn't drop any orbs. I tried and failed. So we're just going to go with Nasher. Shrike. He's too mobile. He'll just run around you like I said in my Frost video. And he's very hard to kill for some reason. And Quillshot. He has spikes where it just trap you to the ground and it's not fun. And I'm not sure what the drop rate on his orbs are, but it's not that high. So Nasher is the person we're going to be killing. You can do with a party, but I recommend a private hunt to, um, for a specific part we're trying to chop off. So I recommend all part damage. No, not that. Is it this? Let's see. I recommend all part damage. Yeah, right here. I mean it's not that good but increases percent to part damage this is what you need to help this go by faster that's fine max health all right the weapon I'm using is Inferno's razor it doesn't do increased damage the plus 80 is not effective because the person we're fighting is a neutral monster so it doesn't really take effect unless we're fighting frost monsters so I take this weapon because it says on the eighth hit in quick succession it deals a hundred bonus damage and major blaze damage which deals like 500 damage like overall is what I've seen with the with a plus two so it's pretty good so let's get into it as you can see the loadout is not that high a hundred a hundred you guys should be able to solo this it's not that hard. It may take some time, but you can definitely solo this. Alright, so as you guys know, you don't actually get the parts from killing the boss. You get the parts from killing parts of the boss. That's why I mentioned part damage earlier. So you can actually get... Let me get these. So you can actually kill parts of the boss and make it drop. Because if you just kill the boss, like attack the stomach, etc. Or I mean attack the head, it's not really going to increase your chances. The more parts you kill, the more chances of it dropping. So I recommend killing the tail first. Because when you slice off the tail, it just makes this boss fight so much easier. Because he has a, a move where he jumps up and down. And without his tail, hopefully I can show it in this video. Without his tail... He can't jump up and down um, and basically kill you. Not that move. This this guy. I'm trying to get to his tail, but that move right there, he will face you 100% of the time after he's done rolling. So don't waste your stand him on trying to connect those strikes. See, look, watch. He's going to follow me. Yeah. I'm trying to get to his tail, but it's harder. That move right there. Without his tail, once you cut off his tail, he's no longer allowed to do that move. That's honestly the most troublesome part about this boss fight. So, I'm trying to cut off his tail. It's honestly kind of hard because he does like to turn around and face you. But if you can pull off some good damage, you should have his tail in no time. You can use grenades, um, potions, whatever you need, because you need to cut off his tail before he enrages when he turns red. Hopefully I can do that in this video. Oh, he's, he's set on fire. He's not in blaze right now. I mean, he's not in rage right now. Oh, there it is. Yup, there we go. We just got three neutral orbs from the, the tail. That's why I recommend um, cutting off the tail first. 
because without his tail, he should become really weak and useless. Now, the second part I recommend is the body and the, the leg. I have gotten three extra orbs from his shin, which is basically his back leg right here. So I recommend just killing his leg. As you can just see, I just got three more neutral orbs. His shin plate, as I said earlier. The most I've ever got is six, which is what I just got. So you can aim for his head, but personally, I've aimed for his head many times, and I have never gotten a um an orb from his head. His head. When you cut off pieces of his head, I think you get a um a rage tooth. I think that's what it's called. I'm not 100 sure, but if you guys do get a neutral orb from his head. Feel free to comment below because that would be a great help to me and the community. As you guys can see, the orders are not 100% drop. I just got two more shin plates. But it's definitely not a bad drop rate, honestly. I farmed this guy for about a couple hours now. And on average, I get three. On average, I get about three orbs. And as you guys can see, I finished in four minutes with an S plus plus. And as you guys can see on the left, I got six neutral orbs. So this guy is great. He's really easy. And um, you guys should breeze through this honestly. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like. Um, if you like the content, I'm gonna be making more Dauntless videos soon. I'm gonna make. Um, Terra orbs and lightning orbs to come soon. I haven't yet figured that all out, but I will soon. But um, if you like the content, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. Um, thank you guys, and I'm out.